but I'm going to use those three. That was four. And I'm going to start out with the main circular one. Now with the scales, you want to have the biggest ones on the back. Just click and drag and you'll see, since we're using drag rectangles, just dragging out that alpha. And we've got lots of scales already. Just bring it. And this as you go towards the throat, make them smaller. And the ones on the face should be smaller yet. I'm just getting the big flat areas right now. We'll go back in with the, some of the other brushes. And that's about where I want to have. Now you'll notice right here, there, it looks kind of fake when it's all symmetrical. So just press X to turn off symmetry. And to go along the back, like this. And then I'm going to switch to my curve one for going around curved areas, for example, around the jaw line and the back of the jaw right there. Just basically following along where the skin is flowing. This I'm going to use my little patch one, which is basically just a very small area of the main one. And put that there. I'm going to grab my straight one, press X to turn off symmetry, and I'm just going to fill in this area right here that I missed. Turn on symmetry again, press X. And I'm going to use that for the length of this jaw. Oh, and you can see right here, there's a prop that, because I have back face mask off, it was going through to the other side. I'm just going to smooth that out right now but you just want to make sure you have that turned on this back face mask on when you're doing scales there are reasons to have that off although usually I would, would recommend having that turned on and I'm going to get the bottom of this jaw right here then go to my curve again go around the nose and up into here around the eye Again, just following the general shape of the skin flowing over the skull. And I think I'm going to switch back to my normal one, quick. And I have symmetry turned off for this area. <clears throat> Turn it on quick just to get that. And finally right here. And there's a patch I missed right there. And I accidentally got it into the ear, so I'm gonna 
smooth that out. Now you'll notice that those smaller wrinkles are pretty much invisible. I'm going to turn them up a little bit by clicking on the layer and using this slider right here. This is the intensity, so now they're 2.3 times the amount I actually sculpted them. Just so they show through a little bit more. And with that, I'm going to end the video. Since we've been going for about an hour. To finish this off, I would use the same technique I used for the eye to make the teeth. Just bring in the sphere, and then you can just use your sculpting to make it into a like the move tool, mainly to make it a tooth shape, and then just shrink it down, put it in the mouth, and then use the sub tool master mirror duplicate it and then you can go to the sub tools and just duplicate them that tooth there and just move them all in place along the inside of the jaw based off of where they are in the reference image and then after the stage I would actually hand sculpt in some of the bigger scales and stuff for with the clay buildup primarily for example in this skeletal you can actually see that Sarasaurus has this line of big scales down the back these bony scales these are actually been fossilized so we know they have these but there's also some other ones that could put in just to make the face look a little less blah and flat. For example, I'll show you that dinosaur I showed at the beginning of this video, which has all these little details put into it. If I zoom in on the face, you'll see I have a whole bunch going up the ridge of the head, so in my Sarasaurus, I would probably put some right here, probably not as dramatic as on the one I just showed. And then there's some along the back of the skull, around the eyes, kind of hooking right here along the bottom of the mouth. Again, and a bunch on the cheek. And then I got some going down the length of the neck as well. So that's generally what you would want to put in. But I will save showing you how to do that for this video. I'll probably might show it in another video but anyways I that's an intro to ZBrush it's a really quick sculpt of a dinosaur head and I'll see you in another video